While observing magneto-optical notions, Faraday came to the conclusion that it is the internal structure of the body itself that changes when such body is placed in a magnetic field. That's why he decided to find out whether the bodies in the magnetic field undergo physical changes, and if yes, then of what nature. In his studies, Faraday stumbled across another huge discovery. Apparently, a chunk of heavy glass placed in front of the poles of a powerful electromagnet was slightly repulsed. The important thing in Faraday's discovery was not the equatorial position of the body, but the fact that some objects can actually be repulsed by a magnetic pole. Such notion will, was also observed in other solid bodies, liquids and human tissue. The same was true for many gases as well. Faraday called all of such bodies as dye magnets. The dye magnetism theory was one of the most delicate issues of the second half of the 19th century. Michael Faraday suggested two different hypotheses. According to the first one, when exposed to, exposed to the magnetic field, the molecules of diamagnetic substances get magnetized in the direction opposite to the magnetization direction of the paramagnetic substance. According to the second hypothesis, such repulsion of diamagnetic bodies by the magnetic poles is only spurious and is caused by the difference in the extent of attraction, that is, by the fact that the medium in which the body is located is attracted to a bigger extent than the body itself. The diamagnetism can be considered a result of inductive currents produced by the outer magnetic field onto the field electron iron shells. Such currents generate an induced magnetic moment in each of such shells. According to the Lenz law, such moment is directed towards the outer field, irrespective of whether the initial field has its own moment, and if yes, how it is oriented. The ideal diamagnetism is not cooperative in nature and can be described by negative susceptiveness that doesn't depend upon the temperature. Diamagnetism is a part of each magnetic state of a substance, but it is usually negatively small if compared to the magnetism caused by spontaneous magnetic moments within the system. In purely diamagnetic substances, the electronic shells of molecules don't have a constant moment. The moments generated by individual electrons in the absence of an outer field are mutually compensated. This is specifically the case for ions and molecules with electronic shells that are completely filled, for example, in inert gases. The universality of magnetism can be explained exactly by diamagnetism, but it can be veiled by some other strong effect, which could make it negligible. The diamagnetism of electronic shells is especially important when the magnetic moment of the atoms is equal to zero. That is when spin magnetic moments are pairwise compensated.